September of 1966 marked the debut of Star Trek. I am now certain that the violent death of my crewman was caused by some strange life form. Viewers are treated to strange alien encounters. <coughs> But in Australia, reality is stranger than fiction. It's April 6, 1966, six months before Star Trek. We're in a school in Clayton South, Melbourne. A young boy bursts into the room with breaking news. Mr. Greenwood, Mr. Greenwood, there's these things in the sky, there's these things in the sky. The whole class runs out onto the field. They can barely believe their eyes. It wasn't a plane, it wasn't a balloon, it was nothing like that. Around 96 people are present. My girlfriend and I sat on the fence and we were crying, thinking it was the end of the world. They say they witnessed three flying saucers. Catching up on my daily meditation. Authorities react quickly. We've been compromised. Reporters arrive and are forced to leave as the army appears. The kids are called to assembly and told they'd seen nothing. What you've just witnessed is a piece of fiction. One little girl was interviewed by a TV crew and she was punished for this. The video footage also mysteriously disappeared. The Australian government has said nothing. But this April, the US Department of Defense released three short videos. They're all going against the wind. Videos filmed by Navy pilots. The wind's 120 knots. Described as recordings of unidentified aerial phenomena, the objects move so fast, even pilots can't identify them. Could it be possible that just as humans are fascinated by other creatures, giraffes at a zoo, or dragons in a desert, other beings might find us interesting too. <coughs> Maybe we're just another attraction in a spherical zoo. Some call Earth. <laughs>